and welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi i'm ikra arshad and yeah this is my channel welcome so today i'm doing a fashion video mm, wow great start ikra great start today i'm doing a fashion video which i mean i get requested to do fashion videos often i have done so in the last couple of years that i've been on youtube I always get requested to do these videos and i never do them because i'm just like why the hell would anyone want fashion advice from me I dress like a tramp most of the time <laughs> but I thought I would do it because I did a little poll on Instagram and some people said they'd want to see it so I thought why not so this is according to the title as you can tell is the winter essentials things for me basically but before we get into that I'm just gonna address the elephant in the room yes my face looks like this no I'm not gonna put makeup on just for the camera I'm not well clearly I think it's very clear from my voice and my face. I'm not well, but I'm not gonna like not have a video up this week because I kind of wanted to get this video done before the end of the year, obviously, because it's still winter time and stuff. So I'm just filming. Also, I'm still figuring out situations in this new bedroom. I'm sitting in a very awkward situation right now. I'm right on the edge of my bed because I wanted natural light because, you know, natural light is still coming. It's only like, what, one o'clock? Yeah, it's only one o'clock, just past noon. Natural light is still coming, but it's not very long because obviously we're in winter time, so it gets dark quickly. So yeah, that aside, I'm still figuring out stuff, so you can see my clothes hanged up on my door. Fun, but yeah, we're not hiding things on this channel. We 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 do it real on this channel. We do, we do, we play it real on this channel. So um, yeah, I'm ill clearly. My eyes are swollen, but we're gonna film a fashion video. <laughs> <laughs> um, so today is my winter essentials, and hopefully I'll have cutaways of me showing the um, clothes because I actually haven't taken them out from the wardrobe, which are right there. I haven't taken them out from the wardrobe right now because I haven't got very long to film. Like I said, running out of natural daylight. I've got to go pick up my brother from school. I haven't eaten lunch yet and I'm very hungry because I've been awake since quite early this morning. So yeah, fun times. So I didn't grab the clothes out to actually show you on camera right now, but I will have cutaways because I will film in that later slash tomorrow. But you guys don't need to know that, <laughs> which I've told you guys already now. So yeah, but these are my winter essentials. So um, these are not going to be as fashionable as some people's are on YouTube. Also, we have a lot of American girls, not too... Not a stereotype, but we have a lot of American Cali girls, LA girls, um, who, I mean, they don't get winter. They don't get cold in the winter. Like, California, it doesn't get that cold. Um, from what I've heard, I don't know, obviously, I've never been there myself, but from what I've heard from other people and other YouTubers who are in America but not in California, not in LA specifically, say that LA doesn't get that cold in the winter so they can walk around still in like I don't know like really thin tights or like skirts and like really thin layers of clothing and stuff that is not the case in the UK and many other places that are colder like I don't know Canada is a lot colder than here but like for us this is cold for the UK we get cold we don't we don't know how to handle heat and cold very well and um the country is cold most of the year so there's that so um these aren't gonna be very stylish i don't think necessarily but i guess you can make them stylish if you want to but i'm not like clothes for me aren't a major thing like i'm not a fashionable person like i say all the time but for me i dress for comfort versus style like it'll be it's really cool if i find something that works weather wise like comfort wise and fashion wise it's like wow this is brilliant i found something that works for both but Realistically, I dress for comfort, so there's that. So we're gonna start, and I'm starting with coats first because I feel like coats are very important. And you have very different styles of coats, obviously, clearly. And coats were something I really didn't care about at all until like last year, maybe, or this year. I, yeah, maybe last year, yeah, I cared a bit more about coats. Because if you're dressed in like coats all the time, you kind of want the coat to kind of stand out, I guess, in a way, because it's like the bit of your outfit people see, which I mean, I don't think that really matters much. For me, number one is a puffer coat. Specifically a really long puffer coat like you know the long ones you'll see in my cutaway the really long ones That has been a savior. I bought it this season So like this obviously autumn winter and it's been a life saving in the rain that we get in the UK like this year We're not getting snow. We're getting torrential rain 
It's not nice. I like seeing the rain when I'm indoors and like sitting at the window, seeing it from inside, but not being out in it. It's it's not nice. So for rain, it's very handy because it basically wraps you up like a duvet. Like it's like wrapping a duvet around you, honestly. Hits me like below my knee, I think. Um, as far as I remember, it hits me below my knee, but I'm a very tall person. I'm like about five, six, five, seven, kind of. Yeah, five, I'm more 5'7", to be honest. 5'7", is kind of like the borderline between 5'6 and 5'7". It's like 5'6.9". <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm like 5'6", five, 5'7". Five, um, so it's not like the tallest thing person ever, but like I'm class as tall, I guess. So I have long legs, basically, and it does go just below my knees, I think. It covers me so well. It's so warm. Not the most stylish, I'll admit. Um, you can get st more stylish puffer coats out there, but... Like I said, I don't care. This one is specifically the one I'm going to show you. It's from Primark. Um, it's in a green, like, kind of a bottle green colour, I guess. Very, like, your standard Parker green colour. Yeah. Um, I couldn't find a black one in my size. And even the one I'm wearing in the cutaway is a size large. No. Extra large, sorry. Because they were running out of sizes. They didn't have anything left in stock. And I needed something desperately. I picked up an extra large. And to be honest, it just feels more cosy and more, like... Something's enveloping me, like enveloping me, like I'm just like all cuddled up and everything, so it's nice. I don't mind at all. But yeah, that is one thing, a puffer coat. I do want to get a smaller one, so like more of like a the short. I can't show you in the camera right now because I'm sitting, but the short kind of puffer jacket, but it's not a priority right now. But um, that is one I want to kind of invest in, um, but it's not a priority right now, obviously. So I'm not getting that right now, but because of money, <laughs> clearly, I do so all the time like money is <laughs> not a priority right now, but I do want a shorter one too. So, coat number two, because I have about three coats, and then the rest is just clothes, obviously. Coat number two is a wool coat or like a synthetic wool, fake wool, whatever. Wool is really itchy for me, so I wouldn't buy a real wool one, but um, I have this beautiful, beautiful coat that I bought just recently from River Island. It's so pretty. I haven't actually worn it yet, so I'll be wearing it for the try-on portion, like, but I actually haven't worn it outside the house yet. It is honestly beautiful. It has nice pockets, first of all, because that's my main problem. I've been going around all the shops looking for wool coats. Um, and I cannot, for the life of me, find one with pockets. They have all the pockets sewn up, and obviously that you can obviously unsew them, but not all of them can be unsewn because they don't have like pockets on the inside. If that makes sense. A lot of them are just fashion purposes. They're kind of just sewn at the seam kind of thing. Some of them, you, like I said, you can open up, but like it's like you can't, and you have to like check them and see if they've got pockets and all of that. And I'm just like, I haven't got the time to waste. I just need something with pockets so I can shove my hands in there, shove my phone in there, shove my tissue because I'm. Freaking always ill, like basically, yeah. Or for me, in my case, I'm asthmatic, I need to shove my inhaler in there sometimes, you know. Standard situation for me. I was gonna have that on me, on my persons, whether it's in my backpack or it's in my pocket. I need to have my inhaler on me all, at all times. So I need pockets. It's got very beautiful pockets, it's got fur lining on, like fur, well, faux fur, I should say, obviously, faux fur, like around the rim, around the arms. Um, it's slightly short on the arms, like it kind of falls, like if I show you, like about here, I think, on me. But to be honest, I have long arms and I've been having that problem with all coats I try and so I gave up. It's a very beautiful coat. It's a tartan kind of style, like blue green tartan. It's got like fur on the collar too, full fur again, um, but it could be removed, which is really nice. Um, it's a very nice coat for like when you want to look a bit more professional put together, I guess. This, I wanted a coat like that basically because I had now the puffer coat and the puffer coat was beautiful. It keep me warm, keep me dry, but it doesn't look very good. And a wool coat isn't necessarily keeps you dry, but it does keep you warm. That is true. It keeps you warm, these kind of coats, but they don't keep you dry necessarily. So I'm not sure how often I'll be wearing it because it rains a lot in the UK. It rains an awful lot in the UK, honestly. So I don't know how often I'll be wearing it, but maybe for like more formalish kind of events maybe if i'm going out to dinner with my friends or i don't know like something like that to be honest when do i ever go out to do with my friends but like if i am for instance i would probably wear that so number three is i guess a teddy teddy coat i don't know what it's called i have a really really old coat which again i'll show you in the cutaway it's very very old um it's got a beautiful hood which doesn't stick on my head very well anymore because i have a massive head um short story quickly because I'm, I don't want to film for too long, but short story, it's actually my mom's old coat. And when I was in year two, so that would have been about, how old are you in year two? I have no idea, like eight, six, seven, something, six, seven, eight, something like that age. I have no idea. I used to wear it all the time. I used to remember, I vaguely remember going to like mosque, like when I'd go to like classes at the mosque and stuff. I would wear it there because obviously cold and all that. Like even though the mosque was really close to my house, like I'd still wear a coat and it was like, 
it was so big and oversized on me because it was my mom's coat. But obviously I was a tall kid, if that makes sense. Like I was tall for my age. I had a major growth spurt when I was younger. So I was fairly tall for my age. So it didn't seem abnormal. It just seemed like I was wearing an oversized coat, I guess. And that I don't think was even a fashion trend at the time, oversized. Like oversized is a big thing now. I don't know if that even was a trend then. When would that have been? That would have been like before 2008. Like I don't know, 2004? Something like that, I have no idea. So yeah, but I have that coat still and it still fits me. To, now it's kind of small, I'm not gonna lie. It hits me like a normal length, like, oh, how do I show you guys? Like, like here-ish, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Like just before like your legs start, I guess, kind of thing, just before the legs start. Um, actually, it's a tiny bit longer. It's like mid thigh for me now, probably mid thigh. Sleeves are very short. I won't lie, like sleeves are going to here kind of thing. Um, but it's such a beautiful coat. And I recently got it washed and like dry cleaned and stuff because it hadn't been washed in so many years. Um, my friends who see me like know I love that coat so much. Like honestly, that coat is so warm. Like teddy coats typically, I feel like, especially the ones in the shops nowadays, they don't keep you warm and stuff. They're, they're more fashionable coats. But this one is such an old coat, it's my mom's coat she got from like the catalog, like if anyone knows those days of buying clothes from the catalogs, it's a catalog kind of coat, expensive back in those days, um, very well made, the buttons are beautiful on it, oh I just love it so much and I never want to depart from it but I feel like I might have to in the next couple of years because it realistically is very old, um, the teddy coat like kind of fluff on it isn't the most softest anymore even after being washed it's not the most softest it looks very nice it looks luxurious looking at it but when you touch it it's not the softest and i think that's genuinely just because it's old uh but i love that coat so much so um i will keep that coat on to me until i can find another teddy coat that's similar or works just the same because teddy coats a lot of times they don't come with hoods this one has a hood which is an advantage to me all the time so yeah Always a coat with a hood, that's my motto. I always like having a coat with a hood, which is why I wasn't a big fan of wool coats, like the the standard, like, you know, wool coats that, like, are, you know, the standard style. I wasn't into those for a long time because I'm like, I haven't got a hood with those because they don't come with hoods, obviously. That's not the style. So I wasn't into those for a long time because of that reason. But yeah, hoods are a thing for me. So onto the actual, like, clothes, I guess. Number four is um, a turtleneck or just turtlenecks in general. As you can see, I am wearing a turtleneck um, and for the sake of the video I'll probably only be showing you this one because my other one I only have two which is so weird because I live in turtlenecks um, I only have two like when I say turtlenecks I mean just like the thin a thin turtleneck top that you use for layering I do have like some turtlenecks that are like jumpers which I'll show in the cutaways I guess um, that are kind of like more jumper fleecy material but I'm talking more about these thin ones that you can use for layering I love these, I only have two, a white one and a black one which I'm wearing right now the white one's in the wash so that's what I'm saying for the cutaway you might only see this black one um, if the wash isn't done by the time I film the cutaways depends if the wash is done I mainly just like use these for layering as you can tell like I'm layered it underneath this jumper clearly like it's just an important thing for me to have tops to layer on things and also as a Muslim girl I just like to cover like even just like taking being a Muslim out of the equation I'm just someone who doesn't like my showing my skin very often I like being covered most of the time and turtlenecks come in handy for clothes that are strapless or like skinny like spaghetti straps half sleeves anything um turtlenecks come in handy so often they keep you warmer obviously it's just an additional layer and it's not a thick layer it's like a thin layer but it means you can layer nicely on top without feeling bulky and like over like everything's so like tight and everything it doesn't feel like claustrophobic i guess the word is it doesn't feel necessarily claustrophobic so that's nice yeah i just really like turtlenecks these ones specifically that i got the white one wow i got a hole in it so it's like a thumb hole these ones specifically are from h&m and i bought them like three to four years ago hence why i just said it's got a hole in it can you see <laughs> <laughs> and I never really bought the H&M ones again because they're still they're still slightly thin like when I wear the white one I can't wear it by itself like say if you want to wear just a turtleneck tucked into like a pair of jeans or something and throw it like a cardigan or something on top I can't wear the white one like that black one I can depending on if I wear a bra underneath and most of the time I'm being honest I don't wear bras just putting that out there, I don't really wear bras. Um, I am right now, in case you're wondering though. Um, <laughs> I don't tend to, this is not something I'm comfortable with. I don't feel the need for it. I'm very small chested, doesn't bother me. Um, but when I wear a white one, you can really see through it. Like the white ones really see through. So if anyone has any suggestions on where I can buy more turtlenecks like these, kind of the thin layered ones, even the slightly thicker ones are fine as well. You need all the warmth for this time of year. I, I don't care. Um, tell me where you can get them in the comments down below. So yeah. Next, number five is a good pair of 
jeans. So I didn't like jeans before, but now I have found the perfect jeans, which are hanged over there because I'm gonna wear them later when I go out um, to click my brother. I found the most perfect mom jeans from Topshop and I live in them now. They're perfect for summer, but also they're perfect for winter because all I do in the winter is layer underneath them, which I will get onto in my next top thing. Jeans, a good pair of thick denim jeans. Um, I used to wear Primark jeans quite often and they, as much as I love buying Primark jeans because they're affordable, obviously, like clearly that's my first number one thing, is it affordable for me to buy? They were always like really thin and they didn't really wear very well. Um, same with new look jeans. New look jeans were slightly better, but I felt like they wore out quickly, like once you washed them a lot. Um, the denim kind of like, it wasn't really real denim either, was it? It kind of just, I don't know what the word is, it kind of just didn't get very, it wasn't, it didn't sit very well afterwards, it didn't sit comfortably on my body, I don't know, I just didn't like it, so I recently, well not recently, a couple of months ago, back in summer, I think towards the end of summer, I bought a pair of jeans, on a whim, on an actual whim, from Topshop, I tried them on in the changing room, found a size that I thought fit me nicely, it was still a bit of an awkward sizing because I fell in between two sizes and they don't make that in between size clearly, but I found one that's comfortable enough, like I could wear it with a belt and it was fine, and they're the mom jeans from Topshop, again I'll show you in the cutaway obviously, but they're really perfect, they make me feel so good, they make me feel good with my thighs because my thighs are a bit bigger, I have a fairly slim, I have a fairly slim body, I understand that I'm, I'm not saying that I'm fat or anything or like I'm not worried about my weight but I have slightly I'm very slim but then I come out a bit at the hips and thighs and I find it really awkward because the way I'm proportioned like I can't I can never find jeans that fit me right they fit me so well on my thighs and then they fit my bum pretty well um in the sense that I don't like my bum showing too much but they fit my bum well like they're comfortable you, then they don't like ride up or anything and they just they don't give me a wedgie it's they're nice, I love them so much, honestly. The best 30 something pounds that I spent on jeans ever. I would never spend that much money, but they were the best amount of money that I spent, honestly. I was so happy, so, so happy. Number six is leggings, a good pair of leggings. That, that's what I was saying, I like layering them underneath, especially if they're like got the fleecy stuff in it. I will try and show you the ones like, I'm gonna show you in a cut way that they got some fleece on the inside. Probably very difficult to show. But it's not like fluff. The Primark ones come with like this fur in them. I don't like those ones. The Primark ones also come with this kind of like, I don't know how to describe it. It's just soft kind of material. Kind of fleece, I guess, but not really. Um, I bought, I usually stock up on those every winter. This winter I only managed to get one pair because they sold out before I could get to them. So sad. So I've been just reusing the same old pairs. But the ones that have got like tears and rips in them, I wear them underneath jeans. Really, I put them underneath jeans. It adds that extra layer of warmth and also just in general tights. I'm gonna add tights in because it kind of goes under the same tile as leggings. Not really stockings, tights, and leggings. Kind of same for me. Um, I use them as like extra warmth and stuff and covering. For a Muslim girl, I feel like leggings and tights are your best friend, especially leggings. Leggings because they're thicker usually and they're not as see-through, but tights, if you can get like the really thick tights that aren't see-through, best, your best friend, honestly, your best friend for when you want to wear those nice dresses or like something that's a bit like, even like not like a nice dress, like if you want to wear like a dress that's slightly like slightly too short or something like and it's like you know i i do wear short dresses in general i wear dresses to my knees that's not a problem for me but i wear leggings with them as you may have noticed in videos or pictures before but um even if i was wearing like a longer dress which i don't do very often i don't wear maxi or midi length it's not very comfortable i don't feel very comfortable with that because of my long height I feel a bit weird in it, but like sometimes your leg might show a little bit, you just want to wear a tight or something, like it just, also in the winter, let's be honest, tights and leggings, I live in leggings, before my jeans, before buying jeans that I liked, I used to live in leggings, I basically would lay a thick pair of tights, pair of leggings, and sometimes even a second pair of leggings, I know, it sounds crazy, but I did that sometimes, so a good pair of leggings, And but mine are just from Primark to be honest, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I spend... The minimal amount of clothes unless it's quality piece of clothing like with jeans i spent a bit money because it's like it's a quality piece of clothing leggings and tights not so much i just need something that will keep me warm keep me covered all of that jazz number seven is some kind of hoodies fashionable hoodies whatever you want to call them um hoodies i love hoodies i live in hoodies because they have hoods i love that so much i mean it's pretty self-explanatory they feel like they're like holding you and covering you and it just feels nice I love some fashionable ones. I have the Bob's Beauty ones. I love when I bought them because I ha donated money towards building the schools. I think that was in Ghana at the time. 
building schools in Ghana, I think it was. Um, I love like giving money towards that cause and just getting such a beautifully designed hoodie in return was really nice. Then I have like merch type ones. So like I have um, my favorite one by Mark Twan. Mark Twan got seven obviously, hoodie. Um, so yeah, I just live in hoodies to be honest. They're my favorite thing ever. So yeah, I mean, I think that one's pretty self-explanatory, so I don't think I need to go into too much detail for that. I just love hoodies. I have so many. Um, I want to buy more, to be honest, just because I live in hoodies, like I said. Um, even just your standard ones, like I have a really nice one from Primark in a nice blue, like a periwinkle blue, I guess. Really heavy, kind of like fleecy one. It's really pretty. Honestly, it's so nice. It keeps me so warm. Um, so yeah, just hoodies. They're your best friend. Um, and then number eight is round crew neck like sweaters, so like this, like sweaters, um, jumpers, I guess, sweaters for the American folk out there, jumpers, again, I have many, I have this one right here, which is so, so old, so old that I don't even know what shop it's from, because the label's been cut off, because clearly I cut the label off back then, I have no idea, I have, like, some beautiful ones, like I have, um, the Bam Bam one that says double B on the back, and the red flower on here, which is honestly so beautiful, I try not to wear them too much, because I don't want them to shrink when I wash them and stuff, but, I can't help it, they're so warm and stuff, and like I just want to wear them and stuff, so yeah. And then I have the Jackson one that has like, it's a fan made one, but it's like, I bought it on Redbubble, I think. And it has like Jackson's rice, makes some hot coat, which is honestly so funny. Um, I just have so many thin ones as well, so you have ones that you can layer on top of like, on top of these, or on top of like shirts, you can layer them on top of. Works really nice, honestly. This really nice red one, I have a nice yellow one. Um, yeah, it's just very nice to have some jumpers, because... Layering is key. It's key in this weather, honestly, it's key. Yeah, number nine is cardigans. Now, I wasn't gonna add this, but then I, cause I wasn't sure, but cardigans have become a thing now, especially since I'm trying to make my wardrobe a bit more work, like formal-ish kind of thing. Um, I found that they're really helpful, especially if you're wearing like a pair of slacks and like a blouse or like a, a shirt or something. And just throwing on a cardigan is nice. I have this really nice new one that I bought from New Look quite recently. Um, it's kind of like a chunky boyfriend style one. It's very nice. It's very big and oversized and I love it. And I wore it to an informal interview quite recently. And I felt very comfortable in it because I just wore like a pair of slacks. Like wide leg trousers, a nice blouse. And then I put that on top and it felt really nice. Like I didn't have to wear a blazer because it was a very informal interview. It wasn't really a formal thing at all. I really like cardigans now. I have this beautiful yellow one that I got from Yes Style once. A couple of years ago. Not a couple of years ago. Back in summer, sorry even. A couple of years ago. What am I on about? In Back in summer. And I really like wearing it in summer because the colour yellow. Because obviously we don't get the warmest the summer. So yeah, we did this year clearly. This past summer was intense. Um, but in general, our weather isn't that great here in the UK. So, you know, just having a light cardigan sometimes. Sometimes if you're going out and it's like a bit on the cooler side like it's nice but even in the winter it's just nice like to layer on top of things like I said it's just all about layering for me to be honest the best way to stay warm is the most important thing for me as long as I'm warm I do not care about anything else so yeah and the last thing I guess I thought I'd just add in is like a shoe so for me ankle boots and knee-high boots I don't have any knee-high boots right now so I can't show you in the cutaway but I had these knee-high boots for like two or three years or something and then I have to get rid of them and then I had another pair which don't fit me I still have them but they don't fit me very well so I'm not going to try them on in the portion for you in the try on portion but knee high boots are very nice I need a new pair I never really bought one for the season I don't know if I'm going to now this season I'll see the season hasn't ended really because winter runs into like well into April here in the UK so we shall see if I buy any my high boots, I don't know. But ankle boots are very nice. I really like this one pair of ankle boots I've been wearing a lot lately. I don't have any idea where they're from but I mean, everything will be linked in the description if I can find it. Or alternatives if I can find something that looks similar to it. Very beautiful pair. They're like a really, like, they haven't got a like heel or anything. They've just got like a little, like, I don't know what you call it. Like, it's just small. It's not really heel or such. Um, very nice for every day. I wear them in jeans. I've been wearing them to my interview. It's like everything. They're really nice. And then I have this really nice Boohoo pair. A pair from Boohoo, is it? Was it from Boohoo? I think it was from Boohoo, I think. I'm not definite, but they got a bit of a chunky heel. Don't wear that very often because I don't wear heels very often and it makes me feel uncomfortable. But the he the boot itself is beautiful. I really like that boot. It's another ankle style boot. It looks very nice. So yeah, I just, yeah, I think that's it for me. Um, other than like your obvious like hats, scarves and gloves. I didn't want to mention them because I feel like they're obvious ones. These are my winter essentials, I think. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, it was a bit long. I apologize if it was a bit long. Um, I wasn't intending it to be this long, but it ended up being long because I talk for bloody long all the 
freaking time all the time hope you guys enjoyed my winter essentials let me know in the comments what your essentials are are they very stylish and more stylish than me or are you like me and a bit more practical and try and stay warm um not that either one is right like being stylish go ahead girl do that because i could never like honestly um i could never my kidneys would like freeze to death if I wore some of the things that I see some of the YouTube bloggers and like Instagram bloggers wear but honestly props to them that do it because I could never honestly I would get ill like in an instant clearly I am ill right now because it happens every single time to me whether I get cold or whether I'm wrapped up or not I get ill every season so it's nothing new or if you even if you dress really like relaxed like me and you just you know very just trying to focus on warmth don't worry too much i don't think fashion is the most important thing in the world i mean i really love the idea of presenting the best you but you know you do you girl you do you oh boy you do you guys whatever you want to do thank you very much for watching guys um leave me more suggestions for videos down below fashion videos or non-fashion videos i do not care whatever you want to leave me let me know um as long as they're not k-pop reactions because i know someone requested that recently um k-pop reactions will be happening solely on my second channel i don't want to clutter this channel with that even though my love for k-pop is huge that is over on that channel it's just gonna they're just gonna keep that there that's fine so yeah let me know more in the comments what you want me to do and also just anything else just talk to me in the comments i love talking to you guys and yeah thank you very much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up because it lets me know that you like this kind of content and then i'll know to make fashion videos from now on because it's the things i've had requests for on and off over the years but i wasn't sure whether to do it or not and i'm just like mm, thumbs up because it lets you know um remember to hit subscribe and the notification bell down below so you can stay up to date when i do upload videos i try and upload once a week but we'll see how i'm gonna do this because i'm trying to get into work and if I do get into work, it might be hard to do once a week. But we shall see. We shall see. I'm going to try because I did I did YouTube throughout all my education. I don't see why I can't still carry on doing YouTube. So, yeah, we'll see. If you hit subscribe and stuff, you'll know when I upload, I guess. And if you don't want to, that's fine. You don't have to subscribe. No one's forcing you. It's fine. You can be a casual viewer. I don't mind. Um, but, yeah, that is all. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, I guess I'll catch you guys in my next video, whatever that may be. Yeah. Toodles. Bye. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah Can you tell me why, can you tell me why I'm down, yeah No friends of mine, no friends of mine around, yeah Now I'm thinking now, now I'm thinking